Comet Neowise has been one of those incredible unifying experiences. Having those who are into astronomy or not into astronomy do one important thing that we seldom do, look up. Look up at the glory of what we have above us in the nighttime sky. This has been a remarkable comet to view and to image. And it's been the best experience that I've had with a comet since Hale-Bopp all the way back in 1997. Today I'd like to share with you my experience of viewing, documenting, and imaging the incredible Comet Neowise. Please like this video and consider subscribing to this channel if you enjoy this type of content. But most importantly, let me know about your experience viewing this comet in the comment section below. Let's get started by going out to view Comet Neowise one last time. The equipment that I had set up this evening was my 8-inch Dobsonian telescope and a pair of 15 by 70 binoculars. While I was viewing the comet and even showing some neighbors who came across the street to see it, I had my DSLR connected to the Skyguider Pro taking 30 second exposures of this comet. One thing that I would really encourage you all to do, regardless of how long you've been into amateur astronomy, is to document your observations. It could be something as simple as just writing them down on a sheet of paper or typing them in a Word document on your computer. One thing that I've started to do over the past few years is actually print out log books like this one for comets, where I can go in and handwrite exactly what I've seen and draw the experience of what I have at the eyepiece. It's a wonderful way to fine tune your skills as an amateur astronomer and is also an excellent way to document what you see as official observations. While I was doing this observing, my tracking mount was going through and tracking the image at about 30 second exposures at ISO 200. I took that footage, put it in Deep Sky Stacker, processed it in PixInsight, and I'm thrilled to share with you the end result. This image consists of roughly seven minutes of data, but even just from those seven minutes, I was able to make out the core, the dust tail, and the ion tail, shooting off like a straight line right off from the core. This is the most impressive comet that I've ever been able to image, and I'm incredibly thrilled with the results. Thank you all so much for your continued support, and be sure to subscribe to Late Night Astronomy.